In this position, with the patient sitting in upright alignment, we're now going to examine for cervical rotation. When using a goniometer, we need to be directly over top of the patient, as the axis of motion is going to be directly through the top and center of the cranium. Our moving arm would be through the axis, utilizing the nose, and our stationary arm will be the axis coming out to the acromion process of the shoulder, palpating posterior anterior acromion, bisecting that over the lateral border of the acromion. Those landmarks should be consistent. In this manner, we're going to come back, palpate at C7T1 spinous process, have the patient rotate until motion at T1 is detected, which would indicate an end of available cervical rotation. I would then take my goniometer and align it over the landmarks as we discussed. The measurement gain would give us an indication of right cervical rotation. We would then perform the exact same procedure utilizing the left acromion, and that would measure for left rotation.